What's good YouTube? Ryan Babs here, back with another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about uh, the flea market. It's just going to be a little vlog style video today. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, we're going to be stocking up the flea market. Now I'm going to be talking about my business strategy behind the flea market. Why I got in the flea market business with sports cards. So if you're interested in hearing about that, go ahead and keep watching. But first, let's get some caffeine. Alright guys, we got our caffeine. We're rocking this rock star uh, fruit punch. I was gonna get a bang, but um, bang be giving me anxiety sometimes. They didn't have my favorite flavor in rain, so we're going with this. So, cheers to Saturday morning, and uh, I'm gonna head back home. I'm gonna show you my process for making these boxes. All right, so we're back at the house. Excuse the mess in the office, because we've been trying to organize this th place, and whenever you have a bunch of cards coming in and out, it can get messy real quick. So, here. We have we have our football stuff, baseball, basketball, and then soccer. The two rows I have it organized. Those are my dollar stuff or dollar or more stuff, and then all the uh, four row stuff is all bulk. So now I'm going to show you, and we make mystery boxes out of this stuff. And if we go to shows, we use it for dollar bins. And so I'm going to show you my process of making a mystery box for the flea market because they do well for me. So. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. Alright, so what I do is I take one of these 100 count boxes from BCW. That's what I use to make the boxes. So we are going to, hang on, let me see if I can get y'all a little bit higher. Alright, that's a little bit better. So we take our 100 count box and we're going to fold it up. So what you do. I'm going to try doing this the other way. You just fold these in right here. You see these little things? Well, these little flaps on the end. You fold these in right here like that. And then you take these ones right here. Fold these in. And you tuck this side in. Do the same thing. And just tuck that in, now you have your box. So now what I do is I take, I get an auto. Uh, what sport are we gonna do? We just pick one. I buy autos in bulk, so we just grab an autograph card. And put it in the box, that's one. We, we put 90 cards in here. So then we take 10 of our dollar cards out of the dollar box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stick them in there. Now we're at 11. So now we get 79 bulk cards out of the bulk box. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, we got our 79 cards in here. Now we are going to go ahead. Let's put them in our box like so now as you can see we got them in the box Just close the flap put these little two things in now you're gonna see there's a little slits right here put them put these in the slits Now it's closed. Now what I do is I made up these business cards. I did the design on um, Canva and I used Vistaprint. And I used Vistaprint to uh, to make them. So I bought, I bought, it was like 22 pack of these for like, or 500 pack for 22. So all I do is I take it on here And then take you take some packaging tape, and we're gonna tape it onto the box. And that's how I make my mystery boxes for the flea market. 
Now I'm also going to do one with uh, graded cards and I have some graded cards coming in that I bought for the mystery packs. So if we get those in by in a good decent time I'll show you how I'm going to make those. I don't have the cards for yet but the business cards but I'm going to go ahead and uh, pre-prep them so that when we get those in all I got to do is just tape them up take them up there. So I'm going to go ahead get some I got to make like 10 to 15 of these boxes to restock the booth today. So that's what we're going to do. And I will see you guys when I'm done. All right, guys. Mail just ran. And um, we got a couple packages in for our mystery graded packs. My bulk lot, I don't know where it's at. Um, so we got to see where that's at. I think that might be on a different truck. So let's go ahead and open these up. And we got a Darius Baisley Base Prism PSA 9. That's going to be in one of the mystery packs. And then we got a group of slabs from Tyler. Eloy. Tops PSA 9, Jordan PSA 9, Kobe White Hoops PSA 10, Chronicles. Jaron Jackson and a Optic Blue Velocity PSA 9. So those are all going to go in my mystery packs. Uh, we're going to do an auto or a hit or, an arc or some kind of patch auto with 10 um, value cards. So those are going to be real easy. I'm going to put the cards in a team bag and uh, with this and a bubble mailer and call it. So that's how I'm going to do my mystery, my graded packs. All right, while we're making up our um, graded mystery packs, we got our bulk lot in, and this box is huge, and uh, there's a shitload of cards in here, and I asked for a bunch of base cards because, so I can make up my mystery boxes, and um, those I'm just going to filter through and sort them. But we also have some stuff that we can probably flip and make some decent money on if we do it right. Probably send some of that stuff to consignment, which I'll do a video on that too. Holy shit. Damn, he hooked it up. What the? Brad is literally, huh, that's funny, I ain't never seen this. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh God, we're gonna have some fun. Hang on, let me show you this. We literally got all these cards shipped in a Walmart bag and then we got these right here. Those will probably go to consignment. And we got those there. I'm going to have to sort through this and um, I'll let you guys know what all came in the mail, what's good.
as you can see, we are at the local post office. We got a couple of eBay packages we need to drop off, and we got to send an order to consignment. And then um, we got a couple errands we got to run. Need to get some food. Um, got to go by the card shop to go talk to the owner, not the new one, but got to go talk to the owner about the show coming up. Then we got to go to the flea market and stock the booth. So I'm going to take y'all with me. And um, yeah. Can I get a number five, please? Yes, sir. What would you like to drink on that? Uh, Sprite. All right, what size would you like to make that Sprite? Uh, medium. Medium Sprite? Yes, sir. Anything else? Uh, can I get a side of Zach's sauce as well, please? Yes, sir. And Anything that, else? That'll be it. All right, so I have a kick-in chicken with a medium Sprite and an extra Zach sauce. Yep. Yes, sir. Your total will be 8.59 at the window. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, we just got to the card shop. Um, we gonna eat here in the parking lot before we go in. We just talking about some tables for this show that's coming up. That's the only reason why I'm here. He is having a sale on some singles, but um, I'm not really gonna pick anything up, but let me go ahead and show y'all what I got from Zaxby's real quick. Ooh, we, look at that. We got some kicking chicken and some fries. That's some, uh, I think tongue torch sauce and some ranch with some chicken tenders. Y'all don't be jealous guys. Don't be hating on my sandwich. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then uh go inside. If you ever go to Zaxby's, be sure to get the kicking chicken. If you like uh buffalo or in buffalo ranch, things like that, you won't be disappointed. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and head on inside. Alright guys, I'm now leaving the shop. Got our show numbers. Well, for how much it's gonna cost to set up there, which isn't bad. It's better than uh what it typically is to set up at that show. The heck's on my face. Probably some sauce from that sandwich. But we got our number. I don't know if I'm gonna set up. I'm really just, I don't know if I have the inventory to set up. I have a bunch of lower end stuff, but I'm as far as slabs and stuff goes, I don't know if, how I wanna handle that. But um, time to go to the booth and restock this thing up with these mystery boxes. Booth is stocked, hoping to make some sales today and this weekend. Um, we'll see what happens because we need the funds right now. Time to head home and chill for the next three, four hours. Hi, peeps. All right, guys, now we're back at the house. I want to talk about the reasons why you should, um, I just thought about something, why you should have a flea market booth if you're a car dealer. Um, first one is, for me, the main reason why I wanted to, it's storage. It's, it's storage. You, I mean, yeah, you're paying for it, but you can also sell stuff. If you don't have room in your office or wherever you store your cards at, it gives you more space to put it there. Second reason, it's good for low-end stuff. If you have a bunch of low-end stuff, it's easy to move. People go to fleet marks to look for good deals, cheap stuff, things like that. And you can appease collectors who are looking for lower-end cards. Third reason, you don't have to worry about people pulling up a comp on you, trying to negotiate your price, but the price is the price. You also... Don't have to worry about chargebacks. People can't do refunds. 
people can't scam you people can't do anything like that at a flea market what you what they pay for is what they get and there's no going back um, and it's also reason number four it's passive you don't have to do anything but put it in there price it hope it sells and that's it it's super easy to do um, that's the reasons why I think everybody should have a flea market booth if you're a car dealer it also gives you a chance to have a mini card shop in that side of things um, you can also focus on other things instead of just working on the shop if you have one or things like that it gives you an extra stream of revenue that you don't have to worry about for your cards um, but yeah those are the reasons why I think you should have one if you have any questions about um, how to get started or things like that I'll, I'll do a follow up video on that eventually but if you enjoyed the video smash the like button comment subscribe See y'all in the next one.